how to create a chat GPT, GPT. So how to create your own GPTs. Um, in, this is actually a, um, a feature that is available for plus members, for ChatGPT plus members. So I realized that many Thinksters in the Thinkster community actually are still free ChatGPT users. So they can access uh, other people's GPTs, but they cannot yet create their own GPTs. So in this video, I will quickly guide you through the process of creating um, a GPT, right? So you can open the sidebar, go to uh, explore GPTs, and uh, let's close the sidebar again to have the full screen. And now you see here, this is a GPT. So now we can search for different GPTs, um, like an editing GPT or so. It also presents us a featured GPTs, like Adobe Express is one of the most, uh, um, most popular GPTs out there. So, and let's create our own GPTs. So I will just quickly go uh, and guide you through the process. And for this, we will create a GPT for financial analysis. Um, in recent things, the tutorials we have done, we have used ChatGPT for all for financial analysis. Okay, uh, now now you can actually chat with the GPT builder, and it makes you the GPT. So it's pretty straightforward. So uh, let's ask it. I want to create a GPT for financial analysis. The user should type in. A stock ticker the GPT researches the stock and pulls financial data income statement cash flow statement from the web and provides a discounted cash flow analysis project the first 10 years of growth based on your research and then um, provide a steady or uh, use use a steady state terminal growth rate. So if I have not lost you yet, so you can, uh, you can describe in your own word to, um, to, uh, to create the GPT, to ask the GPT to, to actually do the work for you. So I think this will be actually a useful GPT. That's why, and I have not yet created it. That's why I took the time to, to formulate this correctly. So it now, um, proposes a name for, for the, um, GPT stock analyst 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 pro. Let's go with the name. Now it creates a profile picture for us, which is great. So it actually does all the heavy lifting. You see, it already proposes some initial question like analyze the stock ticker AAPL. What is the DCF analysis for Tesla? Pull financial data from Amazon and so on. Yeah, so. This looks a bit generic, maybe um, the logo. Maybe use a financial chart or something. Make it simpler. So uh, you, can, it, you can iterate simply by chatting with the GPT creator. So it's really intuitive, really simple to do. And um, yeah, let's give it some time. I will just go with the next logo because you can also change it later. Um, I will just, I wanted to show you that you can like interactively um, build your build your n name and logo and stuff. Okay, here's the updated profile picture. Okay, great. So now let's try it, yeah? So, So now you can you can fine tune it obviously and tell it exactly what you want, how you want it to react. But uh, let's just have an example. Click on analyze the stock ticker AAPL. Now it is still working because it needs to pull data from the web, right? It's not it's not simple, and um, okay. The preview seems to be broken somehow. But it's still working, so give it some time. Uh, first, what should be 
emphasized or avoided in responses. You should emphasize different scenarios and provide specific stock prices based on the DCF. Also provide a short disclaimer in once in the chat. Okay, so the preview doesn't seem to doesn't seem to work. It's maybe a bit complicated. It uses a ah okay no no actually now we have just updated it updated it. Okay, so if you are if you are um, ready, okay now it asks you questions. Maybe how should it be how should it communicate? Let's just make it casual. It updates the GPT. Whatever, right? I mean, you can, you could stop iterating now. It will ask you follow-up questions probably forever. Um, but we can stop here. Uh, you can change the name manually and you see all these fields are already filled out by the GPT creator. Um, it, you can provide some conver conversational starters initially, some pre-knowledge. I, I won't, I won't do it. I, um, Maybe let's also allow code interpreter because sometimes it needs to, to run the financial analysis, it needs to access code. Okay, you can also create actions like connect it with your own APIs or uh, third parties, but we won't do this. Um, okay, so let's hit create and we can, we can create it for the GPT store. Category, yeah, probably research analysis is the best one here. And... Um, we save it. Okay, now you get this link, the chat, the 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 link for the GPT. Um, I can I can add the link below the video so you can check it out if you want. Um, and uh, yeah, you see here is a GPT. Now it's it's like a flavored form of ChatGPT. It provides us the questions. It uh, conducts financial analysis and DCF for stocks. So now pull financial. So maybe let's let's do DCF analysis of Tesla. Um, I'm interested in this because like I recently did DCF analysis multiple ones on Tesla on the Finkster channel. Uh, by the way, subscribe to our channel if you are interested in uh, finance investment. AI, Python, coding, technology, these kind of topics. We have a lot of uh, topics there. The main purpose of the channel is to help you be on the right side of change. So we change as change requires us to change. Good. Here's, so he, he pulled some, some, some data, has assumptions for revenue growth, um, starting from 15% and then decreasing by 1.5%, stabilizing at 2% terminal growth rate. So I, th I would say this is pretty bearish, uh, but okay. Um, we, uh, they assume um, here from the, the net income, it's roughly 10% in the beginning of the revenue, right? Uh, even a bit less, probably increasing over time. We have free cash flow numbers. It performs a uh, discounted cash flow analysis here and comes up with intrinsic share value of 31 bucks. <laughs> so according to this, because, why is that? Because it, it doesn't even use net income for the discounted cash flow analysis, but free cash flow, uh, which is like theoretically the correct uh, way of doing it. But oftentimes, especially if you are a growth stock, if you invest a lot in growth, then your free cash flows are smaller than net income. Why is that? Because net income um, ignores kind of the, the, or actually if you purchase, for example, GPUs for processing, then you can um, depreciate the GPU costs over several years. So the net income number will look better if you invest for growth. So, and that, that's why um, they have like uh, roughly, roughly, roughly half of the net income. Then also in the end, they still, they still go with their, with their um, net income, uh, net margin of 10%, which is less than I would assume, um, especially as Tesla converges to become an AI company 
uh, and a software company which that have much higher net margins for full self-driving and robotaxi network and stuff. Uh, so they did not consider these type of things. But I think it's useful, pretty um, uh, GPT, and we can then obviously so now we can iterate on the GPTs. For example, I don't like that they are too conservative, so they should be more realistic. They should also consider. Um, like the future bet so now we could iterate on the on the gpt right but the, the point was not like to create the perfect gpt i mean this just took five minutes uh, obviously it would need lots and lots of refinement maybe example dcfs so it over time learns exactly what you what you wanted to do but uh, yeah i think it's a nice little uh, tool and uh, check it out if you haven't already um, check out the Finkster youtube channel so give me a like and subscribe to the to the channel, uh, put your, in your comment your own GPT if you have created one so the community can benefit from your creations and um, see you in the next video. Bye.